Today, we are going to rank every belt in Survivor.io on a tier list from worst to best. Starting off with the leather belt, we have the leather belt, and the leather belt has two skills. Healing plus 5% when looting food, max 30%, and movement speed plus 5% when looting food, max 30% as well. If there's a lot of food on the map, this might be handy, and if you are wearing red Void Waker treads when your movement speed increases, you might find that beneficial. Your attack might increase there, but obviously, this belt is very restricted. It's only beneficial if you are looting food. We are going to stick the leather belt in the C tier. Next, we have the broad waist guard and the broad waist guard has two skills radiation pulses one time when healing dealing damage proportionate to hp healed and all radiation pulse damage doubled so whenever you heal there will be a radiation pulse around your survivor and the more you heal the more damage that radiation pulse will deal it is actually pretty cool and fun to use especially with catnips and an all healing build but it's not very beneficial and it is restricted i like it a little bit more than the leather belt so i'm going to stick it in the b tier for now next we have the waist sensor and I really like the waist sensor. When your HP is above 50%, your movement speed will be increased by 20%. And when your HP goes below 50%, the damage you received will be reduced by 20%. The waist sensor is a great choice if you are wearing Red Void Waker treads. Red Void Waker treads have a skill down here that says Predator increases proportionate damage against enemies with lower movement speed than you. And there's a max 50% damage increase, so that's a lot. Obviously, since the waist sensor will increase your movement speed when your HP is above 50%, they can help increase your damage if you are wearing Red Void Waker treads. And because of that, I kind of want to stick them in the S tier. Pretty much every strong player with Red Void Waker treads wears the Waste Sensor, but it's not always necessary. It will not increase your HP by the same amount as S grade gear, but it can help you increase your damage by more, and that's why I want to stick it in the S tier. Next, we have the Army Belt, where you can gain Inspire from Elite and Boss Kills, which will grant one Shockwave Shield to your hero. At an epic grade. Gain Dominator State for 5 seconds when Shockwave is triggered. This will increase your damage and movement speed by 100%, but that's only for 5 seconds. In addition, all skill cooldowns are maximized. I'm not gonna lie, the Army Belt is very fun to use. It's very fun to have your damage and movement speed increased by 100% for 5 seconds, but it's not very helpful, it's not very beneficial, and it's only for 5 seconds after you kill an Elite or a boss. I'm going to stick the Army Belt in the B tier. I think that's where it belongs. Next, we have the Void Waker Sash. And one thing to keep in mind about the S grade belts is that they both will increase the revival effect by 20%, which is the healing effect, and they will both increase your HP by 40%. So that's where they have an edge against normal equipment. With the Void Waker Sash, you can gain Harden for 5 seconds every 500 enemies killed, which will make you immune to all projectile damage. And at a red grade, you'll become immune to all damage and insta kill minions when you collide with them. Like all belts, this isn't very beneficial, but it is pretty fun. You can essentially become immune to damage for five seconds you can insta kill enemies when you collide with them and you look cool while doing it all belts are kind of underwhelming but i'm going to stick the void waker sash in the s tier it may not increase your movement speed or your attack as much as the way sensor but it will increase your hp and apply the revival effect next we have the stylish belt and with the stylish belt you can gain a shield that blocks damage one time for every 200 monsters killed at an epic raid shield now grants damage immunity for one second the stylish belt is kind of like the eternal belt but instead of giving you a shield every one minute this belt will give you a shield every 200 monsters killed it is pretty useful and can help you against mobs and against bosses so i'm going to stick it in the a tier last on the list we have the eternal belt which will trigger invincibility for two seconds when damaged every one minute and then at a red grade your attack will be increased by 50 percent for three seconds when invincible it's a very strong belt and it does provide a 50 percent attack increase when you are invincible so in in theory, it can help you in Ender's Echo and in other places. So I'm going to stick it in the S tier, alongside the Waste Sensor and the Void Waker Sash. And if I had to choose any of these, I would probably choose the Waste Sensor due to wearing red Void Waker treads. That way I can increase my damage by 50% pretty much permanently, instead of by 50% for 3 seconds every 1 minute. So that does it for today, guys. That is the final tier list. If you would rank anything differently, let's hear it in the comments below. And if you have any questions about any of the gear you see on this screen right now leave a comment below as well thank you so much for watching smash like and subscribe i'll see you later